okay so in the previous video we have set up our environment and we have added the barrels and crates package as well now in this video what we will do is we will add our player so for the player character i am using this adventure character which is available free on the unity asset store so you can just go ahead and search for adventure character and then you can import this inside your parkour game okay but also i will be providing the zip file for that character as well so if you want you can download that zip file and after downloading it just simply extract this to adventure character folder and once it is extracted or unzip it will give you this folder and inside this folder we have this adventure character unity package file so let's double click on it it will open up the import unity package window by default like this okay and then just simply click on import and now as you can see it is showing importing package right here as you can see adventure character this is the package okay so if we open up the prefab right here if we select the main one okay this is the main one character but actually we will be using this main four okay this one with all of the clothes but feel free to use any of the character from this okay i will be using this main four so before adding this character what we will do is we will delete this player okay so let me first of all unpack this completely and then let's just simply delete it okay then let's close the environment and then right here before creating any game object let's first of all drag our character right there okay make sure the player feet are on the ground like this okay just simply drag and drop it and the feet will be on the ground okay and as you can see it is showing main four so let me just move the main four down and then let's click on prefab unpack completely then let's rename this to player okay and as you can see the animator is already attached and also the avatar for this character okay so make sure that all of these things are by default added okay then if we click on our game window as you can see it is showing no camera rendering this is because we deleted the player from here okay and inside that player we have our camera which is also deleted so what we will do is we will simply right click right here in the hierarchy and then click on camera okay this is the camera let's name this as main camera okay and let's move this at the top okay and as you can see now this camera is capturing or you can say rendering this character let's pull the camera backwards so that you can see the character fully like that okay so here is the character now our character has been added now in the next video what we will do is we will add our camera controller okay so when we play the game then we should be able to rotate the camera around the player so we will do that in the next video